Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy II Pixel Remastered. Today we're going to be going to uh, Salamand again, and going to the Snow Cavern. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to go to Salamand first. It is, we've been there before, it's where we met Yosef. It's right up here, and I will meet you guys as soon as I get there. All right, we are right outside of Salamand, and we need to go talk to Yosef. Uh, we talked to Yosef before he, we rescued his daughter. Um, this girl is still standing outside, not wanting to get in Yosef's way. It looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. The cowardly Borgen has been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me. If there's anything I can do to help, all you have to do is ask. And we will ask. The goddess bell. The only way to reach the snow cavern is on my snow craft. I keep the snow craft hidden in the mine. There's a blue stone on the first floor that marks the spot. Oh, so we need to go to Summit Falls first. Uh, look behind the stone and to the right. The secret room's there. And the snow craft is inside. I'm sorry I couldn't help you find the mithril. So I want to make up for that by pitching in now. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Joseph, join the party. Cool. So we lost Minwoo, but we gained Yosef. Come back soon, Daddy. Alright. Oh, wait, can we talk to her? Will she say something? Oh, uh, nope. She does not say anything different. Uh, but we are going to heal up real quick. Give Yosef a good night's sleep before we head out. What is Yosef? He looks angry. What does he have? He doesn't have anything? What's his stat? Okay, so he likes to punch things. And he has, like, no magic. Or at least MP. Does he have any magic? No. Nope, so he's just a guy that punches stuff. Uh, he might prove quite useful, and we're going to go to Summit Falls. On our way to Summit Falls. <sighs> if you don't want random encounters, remember you can always go into configuration and boost. Something else that we've done um, is there's an encounters off. I have all mine on four just because... You know, I work and have a life outside of this. So it's hard to, uh, you know, really grind. So I just have them all on four boost just to make things easier on myself. <clears throat> so it's quicker. But yeah, you can turn encounters off with the boost. Really nice feature. If you don't, if you just want to go through and kind of enjoy the story. Without all the fighting nonsense. And we made it to the blue... The, the blue... The blue... Stone? Oh! Okay, we just... Okay. Ah, yes. He unlocks the door by... Uh, Jos Joseph turns a small rock jutting out of the wall and a passage appears. The snowcraft is in here cool. So we go in here, and it's all the way at the end. We retrieve the snow craft from the chest. That's a, that's a small snow craft if it can fit in a chest. Is it just like snow boots or something? Turns out it's just snow shoes. That's our snowcraft. Let's get walking. 
But now we go to the snow cavern, which happens to be up here. Yeah, we're okay. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And we go. Snowman. Oh, hey, look at that. An achievement. 50,000 gil. I really obtained 50,000? Huh. And it's all the way over here on the right. I should probably stop using magic. Now that I think about it. All the way over here on the right. Uh, here it is. The snow cave. Oh. Um, one other thing you can do is you can still check how many chests you have. For instance, we have zero chests of, of 13 in the snow cave. But um, some chests are missable. We just got our last chest in Semet Falls there. Finn, I don't know where the other ones are. But again, Altair, Alt Altair, technically a missable chest eventually. Uh, but we can get all of the chests here on our first run of the Snow Cave. Let's go. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty uh, leveled right now. So, I may actually just... Whoopsie. No configure. Configuration is right. I may try this. Encounters off. Let's see if I can just run through the dungeon, as I have times four modifier on, and see if I can't just go to the boss. Yeah, it's not going to be any encounters. Wow. It actually works. 300 gil in that chest. Chest over here. Get this one. 350. Uh, this door is a one-way door. You cannot access it um, until you're farther in the dungeon. It's, it's basically our way out. Instead of teleporting us, us out, we just have a um, kind of shortcut. Okay, so we need to get this chest over here. What was that? An arctic wind. Antarctic wind. A stone that summons a magical ice storm. Oh, neat. Sort those out. Uh, we need to go up this one first in order to get a treasure chest that was missed on the previous floor. A battle axe, an antidote, and monsters? Uh-oh. Okay, I got protect off. Cool. Hopefully I can get fire off. 
seriously? Oh my god. What a terrible chest. And what did we get for it? A mithril mace. Uh, luckily I have life. I can just life Spirian back up. And again, Virian didn't lose any experience points because there aren't any experience points to gain. That really sucks. I want a shield. I want nothing. Optimal and Joseph. All right. <clears throat> now we got to go back down. Probably should have saved before that one, but oh well. And then we can continue on. The Snow Cavern. Potion. A Blizzard Tome. Have blizzard? You do not have blizzard. Do I need to give him blizzard? No, I don't think I do. I don't think I need to give him blizzard. Another potion. And a mithril spear. See if that's better. Yes, it is. The mithril spear is better. That door leads to nowhere. And then we go down. Two chests on this level. A mithril shield. That's better for Virion. Not by much, but it is better. We go down all the way to the left-hand corner. Uh-oh. More monsters. Hopefully it's not... Okay, it's not the same. I wonder if these guys are weak to fire. I guess we'll find out. Well, it doesn't look like they're that strong anyway. not look like they're that strong. It went out with one fire. An ancient sword. Better? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm going to make a quick save here. And we need to go down to this door here. Snook chit. Oh, giant beaver. Oh, okay. Do we just. Snook, snook chit. Guy speak beaver. Guy speaks beaver. What is he, Kronk? Ah, squeak, squeak, and squeak, squeaker. Yeah, the secret passage is in the wall to the right. Monster guard the bell. Bell and wall. Should have renamed Guy Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. Can we learn anything? No. We asked about the goddess bell. He doesn't know anything about any, maybe the wild rose? No. Pass? Nothing happens. So I think, I think we just leave.
interesting. Um, talk, talk to beavers. It's interesting. Never would have guessed that. And we have a silver cuirass. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's armor. It is. I will give it to her. I want my white mage to be alive. We're going to quick save here, and then we're going to fight the boss. That's an adamant toys guarding the bell. Stay on your toes. Adamant toys. All right. Um, it's probably weak to, like... It's probably weak to magic, I would think. Seventy's pretty good. Four hundred and seventy-six. Oh my gosh. Can it be teleported? I wonder. So fire is definitely better than thunder there. And it doesn't matter, it's it's gone. Wow, that was actually a really easy fight. Or boss fight. Out Fury and Fire, Thunder, Maria Protect, Yosef's hands. <laughs> Yosef's hands. These hands have leveled up. <laughs> All right, let's get the goddess bell. There it is. There's something set in the wall. It's the goddess bell. We obtained the goddess bell. Now that's not like the goddess bell as in Beauty and the Beast. It's just a bell. And it looks like it makes us a nice escape route. And this is the one-way door I was talking about. We go up and out. We're right, right here. Snow Cavern, B1. Uh, let's heal everyone up just, just for the sake of uh, healing them up. Quick save, and we are out of here. Uh-oh. Quick save again. It was actually really nice not having to fight anyone, and the boss wasn't overly difficult. So I would say that feature is actually really nice if you're overpowered. Uh, but let's talk to this guy. Curses! You've already gotten the goddess bell! Uh, okay. First you ruined my standing with the Emperor, and now this. He is not happy. Who's this guy? Borgen. Oh, this is the guy. Oh. We met him at the airship. Previously. The Emperor will never forgive me for messing this up. If I ever get, go back to the Empire, he'll have my head. But I'm a soldier. I'm not going to die. If I'm going to die, you're coming with me. Oh, we finally get to fight Borgen. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Uh, again, I wonder if he is susceptible to, to teleport. Uh, we're gonna attack with both of them. No, well, he might be. I don't know. Man, Joseph's hands are deadly. That was really easy. Maria's teleport leveled up. Perfect. And Maria's evasion leveled up. Nice. Ooh, 2,400 kill. Again, that was times four, though. <laughs> we just go around him. <laughs> I may have lost, but don't think that you've won. I've booby-trapped this cave. 
Just a little parting gift from me to you. How come we stand on the side there? That's not even a walkable path. I've been waiting. I'll be waiting for you in hell. Oh. Oh, I think he just died. Okay, we can outrun a boulder. That's fine. Oh, it's a cutscene. Uh, oh. Um. Dang it. Go on, get out. Hey, big guy. Uh, we're not gonna leave you. I can't hold it for much longer. Run! Wait. It's up to you. It's up to you now, Virian, my sweet Nelly. Wait. Yosef! Die too? I have the life spell though. Why can't I use it on him? Why could why he had a daughter? That's terrible. Why? Ugh, there's so many deaths in this game. Final Fantasy 1, there was no death. What about his daughter? We gotta go check on her. the lady from outside. Poor Yosef. I'll look after Nelly in his place. I know that would make him happy. So you were in love with Yosef and yet you you didn't profess your love and now he's gone. Dad. He isn't coming back, is he? Oh, man. Even the child knows that his dad's gone. Her dad. Her dad's gone. Oh, that's so sad. Louie! just need to continue on. Uh, Hilda told us to go to Kushan Keep. Oh man, that's, that's so unfortunate. Uh, but I think that's where I'm going to close off today's episode. At, on a very sad note. But his sacrifice means that we can continue on and we can save the world. So next time, we're going to go to Kushan Keep. This is Cheesy Paladin signing off, and I hope you have a better day than Yosef.